what up it's casper today's video i'm gonna be talking about the movie deadpool and wolverine the movie deadpool and wolverine is a 2024 film it's rated r and it's two hours and eight minutes it's directed by sean levy so real quick with sean levy i'm actually seeing one of his works his directed works and it's the movie night in the museum with this review and also with this movie that he directed I'm gonna be straightforward on sense of like, I'm not really the biggest Marvel, DC, Disney, whatever you wanna call it fan to know what every Easter egg in this movie has. I am gonna point out some cool things that I saw that I thought was very interesting, funny and amusing at the same time. So this review is just more of like what I saw from my first watch and letting you know right away there might be spoilers. So sorry for the spoilers. For the ones who haven't seen it, you might wanna turn away from this video cause I'm gonna be pointing out things that I like from the movie. So with this movie, Deadpool and Wolverine, we got Ryan Reynolds playing Deadpool. He's back for the third installment of his Deadpool movies. And we got Hugh Jackman back as Logan slash Wolverine, which is very insane. I still need to see the 2017 movie, Logan. And the fact that in this movie you do realize that he died from that movie. And this new movie does bring up that he did pass away. From the beginning, I really enjoyed how Ryan Reynolds, aka Deadpool, his whole personality has a whole different meaning on the superhero world or the Marvel world. I really like how Deadpool is just literally his own character. Only Deadpool could do what he does. The way he talks in this movie is so like free. The way he moves in this movie is just literally like a troll. And I really enjoyed what Deadpool brought because it's just very out of nowhere moments in this movie. And the fact that this dude is so open to say these lines made me laugh throughout this movie. And the way he talks to the, the viewers in this movie as if like they're all literally watching him also is pretty amusing as well. I remember seeing the first Deadpool movie and just no remembering how just how much of a mouth this, this dude Deadpool has. Remembering from what I saw, this dude kept cussing. He was very egotistic. It was all about himself, all about getting the job done by getting paid and just going on these killing missions. Watching this movie, it was more of a different side of Deadpool, a sense of like, he wants people to care for him. He wants to have value and he doesn't want to be, I guess, his own egotistic person. And this movie has more of like a caring, kind of hard he's actually trying to join the advent avengers ryan reynolds as deadpool really enjoyed the fact that you can definitely tell that this dude is trying to be a part of something the whole perspective of this movie is deadpool's world is dying scenarios in this movie where if he doesn't do anything his whole existence is going to be gone there's not going to be a deadpool world to fix his world he has to go to different worlds and find Logan, aka Wolverine. He's trying to find a Wolverine that could help him save his world. Finds Wolverine that actually doesn't want to kill him. Here in this movie, Deadpool is talking to him saying like, hey, you actually have some worth. If you come to my world, we can fix your world and everything that you've gone through, we can fix. So in this movie, you see how that Wolverine actually is gonna join Deadpool to save not only Deadpool's world, but Deadpool is promising Wolverine that Wolverine's world is gonna be fixed. So that's what the movie is about. The soundtrack in this movie is an interesting one. A lot of moments in this movie you can tell where just the soundtrack's trying to hit and make the scenario more funny, more dope, and make Deadpool look a lot cool. Beginning scene, very straight to the point. Ryan Reynolds, aka Deadpool, is literally kind of trolling the people behind the scenes like Disney and Marvel and base and Fox. The Deadpool character in general in the beginning, I thought it was a funny one as well because it's like, why? Like only Deadpool could be doing this. The camera angles in the beginning were actually very dope. The killing scenes in the beginning, I thought they were very unique in the sense of like, you're watching like a 2D version and then you just move the camera around. It's like a 3D perspective. Super troll moment, especially in the beginning, the dancing while killing those police officers type of people in the beginning I thought I was like yo this is insane it's pretty funny hearing the buildup of how the music starts in the beginning I'm like bruh this is crazy I thought the beginning scene was one of the most interesting scenes because of just how they prepared that scene with Deadpool not only that him looking for Logan's body it's a good uh, pull in to watch this whole movie. Um, there is another scene in this movie where it's Deadpool and Wolverine fighting a lot of other Deadpools. Camera angles, especially just that still shot, just 
following them along like this another scene that, that stood out for me i thought the camera angle place for that was perfect it was very simple but made everything look super dope really like how deadpool and wolverine jumped out of the bus wolverine had that 90s costume on that made him look super dope and talking about wolverine aka logan an interesting one as well he starts cussing a lot in this movie too he's like a badass even though you know he's going through stuff it's a good follow along feel with both of them you're just more of like how are these two personalities hanging out with each other hugh jackman i thought he did a great job as well very presentable something that didn't seem like it was forced or awkward i thought every perspective in this movie you could see that he is trying to save his world but he does easily get pissed off at deadpool pretty dope to see both of them be in a movie like this their interaction between both of them you never were saying this too much between them thank goodness that nothing in this movie even though the, the lines in here could be a little suspect and a little crazy we're like whoa like i can't believe they said that it's just like bro like that's what deadpool does and that's literally the vibes you gotta be very open to watch this movie especially with those lines it's very interesting to see a lot of the other characters from other movies like you see Ani storm in this movie i thought his interaction in this movie was pretty funny because deadpool thought he was going to be the captain america in here you see deadpool talking to mr paradox and seeing the screens of the future self of deadpool and seeing thor there's a scene in here where thor's crying with deadpool and you're like yo did we see this in another movie so is there definitely easter eggs in here that you're probably gonna see in other movies there's easter eggs in the lines as well like you're seeing how like deadpool and wolverine are probably gonna still keep going and there's probably still gonna be other movies with deadpool and wolverine and maybe maybe other characters are gonna join their ride as well you never know maybe spider-man might join them too spider-man doesn't really kill anybody so imagine putting spider-man with wolverine and deadpool who literally kill people so that'll be an interesting perspective you do hear a lot of name dropping in this movie there's a lot of other characters as well i'm not gonna say all of them but the ones i did like was blade wesley snipe is back and he's in this movie i'm glad that it wasn't like a two minute role it was like a good 10 minutes and i'm like wow this is actually surprising this is badass very enjoyable with him and it all makes sense with him as well i'm not mad at what they did with him in here i'm just very happy that he's back the only thing that felt like a drag for me was the one-on-one -on -one interaction with mr paradox him just talking i thought that was just a little draggish and sometimes i'm like oh could we shy away from this guy you kind of just wanted to go back to the action scenes another character in here that that was very hilarious is the dog world's ugliest dogs his name is peggy the dog is in this movie and the way they used him in this movie was literally on point this is a movie i would say go ahead and watch it because it is fun and even for people who haven't seen the other movies i think you're gonna have a great time with this movie if you're taking your grandma or moms to the movies there is a lot of cussing in this movie and that might become a little too much because they're pretty they're pretty graphic with the cussing words and they they do not shy from trying to be funny and very straight to the point with these cussing words so i'll say watch out for that there is a lot of blood in this movie and there's a lot of moments in here where you're like whoa that is crazy insane this movie literally just came out so if you ever get a chance to go watch it go watch it i think a lot of the characters in here you're gonna enjoy you're gonna see a lot of other characters from other universes part of this movie what else can marvel do with these type of movies so it just gave me that that feeling like there's gonna be a lot more movies with deadpool there's probably gonna be more movies with wolverine everyone in here is you can tell is having a great time and enjoy is enjoying the fact that they're able to pull this off very good detail movie to just talk about with friends and huge fans of these universes this budget for this movie was 200 million and they literally made their money back the first day after my watch watching the movie deadpool and wolverine out of 10 i'm gonna have to give this movie a 8 out of 10 so that's my movie review for the movie deadpool and wolverine shout out to you guys for tuning into the video thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one peace y'all